Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version 5.2.0 of the game hub windows emulator for android i'll be talking about what's new we'll also be trying out god of war as well as gta 5 on this mali gpu android device which i have right here the oneplus pad because game hub emulator has gotten really optimized for mali gpu android devices so in the brand new version 5.2.0 of game hub we get steam optimization for example cloud sales steam input and dozen of other improvements pc emulator enhancements such as better controller, improved physical keyboard support, smoother animations, enhanced game visuals, so crispier list covers and background images, bug fixes, so many bugs related to performance and compatibility have been fixed. So simply tap on the update now button if you have already added the game of Windows emulator on your Android device. Once that's done, simply tap on the settings button, enable this option and make sure to update your game hub emulator. We have added the latest version of game of Windows emulator on our Android device. We have Steam section, so let's just go ahead and log into our steam account and now that we are logged into steam you guys will be able to see your steam account as well as all the games that are available so if you also want to play steam games inside game hub emulator it's as simple as logging into your steam account selecting the game that you want to play for example let's say you want to play unturned or even csgo you can simply tap on this button after tap on i know and it will automatically start adding the steam game on your android device anyways we want to try out triple a title like god of war on this mali gpu tablet so this tablet comes with Mali G710 GPU and it has a MediaTek Dimensity 8000 processor. Let's tap on import games, select PC games and let's add God of War. After simply tap on the confirm button and here we go God of War has been successfully added. We'll go to PC game settings and apply the best settings. For example, game presets will set it to extreme preset because extreme is supposed to provide us with the best performance in God of War 2018. After a GPU driver, there is only one option for Mali GPU and that is system graphics driver. DXVK version, also very limited options for Mali GPU Android devices. We'll go with the DXVK 1.10.3 asynchronous. We'll keep the VKD3D and CPU translator as default VRAM limit. You don't really need to do anything else. All we'll do is enable touch control support. Let's go back and see if God of War 2018 works on a Mali GPU Android device inside the game of 5.2.0. Now we want to just check out the performance and here we go D3D must be at least 11. And there is a very simple reason for it. We are using the system graphics driver inside the game hub emulator and Mali GPU system drivers are I guess not compatible with newer titles but I doubt it though I am not really sure. If you do know the fix for it then let me know in the comment section down below. Regardless let's test out our next game which is going to be Grand Theft Auto 5. And there we have it guys GTA 5 has successfully booted on our Mali GPU Android device which is quite surprising. Let's go to performance and native rendering make sure that it is disabled because sometimes it decreases the performance will disable the frame limit option as well after a few seconds of loading there we go our game has successfully started and i have to say i am actually impressed by how smooth and stable it is running on my oneplus pad or oneplus android tablet we are getting constant 30 plus fps while emulating gta 5 on a device that shouldn't really be able to play triple a pc games it is not able to play triple a pc games as we saw with the god of war 2018 test but it can run games like gta 5 resident evil and so on but as far as I know, I guess WinLater is now able to run DirectX 12 games on Mali GPU Android devices. There have been so many updates with Windows emulators for Android that my mind has gone blank. So do let me know in the comment section down below if I am right with the fact that WinLater can run DirectX 12 games. But here you guys can see very very playable gameplay experience. This has a MediaTek Dimensity 9000 processor which is definitely a flagship processor but still nowadays you can even grab like let's say Dimensity 8100 processor or so on inside very budget android devices and that should also be capable of playing gta 5 at the same level of smooth performance which i am getting right here so do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about the game hub emulator version 5.2.0 the game hub version 5 series doesn't really perform that well compared to the 4 series on snapdragon processor android devices but these really perform well on mali gpu android devices anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time peace out